Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to withdraw your Brave rewards from your Brave browser. So let's get started. All right, so we, when we go over here to Brave Rewards, you can see that uh, I've got some BAT in my wallet. And in the past, this Withdraw Funds feature was uh, missing, right? So now it's here. So the first thing that's going to happen when you click this is that it's going to link to your Uphold account. So if you don't have an Uphold account, you'll want to create one. Ah, here we go. Withdraw Fund. We'll go with this already have an account which I do so that works all right and uh, I do have authentication set up all right. confirm it's really you click the link that we just sent to your email address so I'll go over there device okay so now I'm gonna authorize now I gotta do the authenticator one more time <laughs> all right okay made it all right, now we can withdraw our funds. All right, so now that you've got your Brave Wallet browser connected to your Uphold account, all you have to do is click Withdraw Funds. And it's gonna launch your Uphold Wallet. As you can see, it pulls up the Brave Browser wallet, or what they, they refer to it as a card, at the top. And then you have all of these features down here below. So what we wanna do is take this accumulated BAT in my case, it's $73, and I want to cash out. So all I have to do is click down here on Send to Bank Account. Now, when you first set up your Uphold Wallet, you're going to link a bank account to it, which you can use to fund the wallet. But in this case, we're going to withdraw back to the bank account. So I'm just going to click on my bank account here, and then I'll fill in the amount. I can withdraw as much or as little as I want. Uh, I can also click this uh, little tick mark here that'll auto fill the entire amount. All right, and then all I have to do is tick this and click confirm, and it's going to send that $72.91 to my bank account. So, what could be easier than that? Money that you accumulated using the Brave browser is now safely transferred to your bank account. But why be small minded? Why not take that BAT that you've earned and store it in your own cryptocurrency wallet and just hold on to it? It might be worth more someday. So let's look at that scenario. All right, so I'm going to open up my Ledger Live and I'm going to withdraw this BAT into my Ledger Live wallet. Now, Ledger Live is the interface to the Ledger Nano hardware wallet. All right, I have a Ledger Nano X, you may have a Ledger Nano S, but if you want to withdraw some BAT into this wallet, I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, so all you need is an Ethereum account. Now, if you don't have an Ethereum account yet, you can just go over here to Manager. All right, so when the uh, alert comes up on your device to allow Ledger Manager, we're going to hit both buttons. All right, and that opens up the Ledger Manager. Now, as you can see, I already have the Ethereum app on my device. But if you don't have the Ethereum app on your device, it's very simple. All you have to do is go over here to where it says Ethereum and click Install. And that's going to create the Ethereum app on your device. Now that you've got that squared away, you'll just go back over here to Accounts. And then you're going to want to choose Add Account. And then you'll just choose Ethereum. And what that's going to do is scan this, it'll scan this device for the Ethereum app. It'll find the Ethereum app. And if you don't have any wallets created on this device, it'll simply create an empty Ethereum wallet. Simple as pie. All right. So when you're done with that, you're going to have this empty Ethereum wallet. So we'll just click in that. And all we, it's empty. So all I want to do is receive. Now you may be wondering why I'm doing all this in Ethereum. The reason why is that BAT is an ERC-20 token. It's a sub-token on the Ethereum blockchain. So an Ethereum address is like a mailbox where you send all of your ERC-20 tokens, including BAT. So I'm going to click Receive here, and uh, it auto-fills Ethereum here. And I need to be in the Ethereum app on my device. 
All we need to do is navigate over to Ethereum. You know, you can change this. But once you're on top of Ethereum, you'll hit both buttons. Now that you're inside the Ethereum app, you'll see that the uh, check marks appear on the screen here, and we can hit continue. Now it wants us to verify that Ethereum address. So I'll hit continue. All right, there's a little arrow here telling me to advance to the next screen. I'll just click that. And there's that Ethereum address. I can look at it on my device and confirm that it matches the one on my screen. This gives you added security by uh, verifying these addresses are the same. Now I'll advance one more by clicking this button to approve, and then I'll click both buttons. So now you can see that I verify the address and I'm ready to send uh, my uh, Ethereum or any ERC20 tokens into this address. So I'm just gonna copy and I'll go back over here to my Uphold wallet. Uh, instead of send to bank account, I'm gonna send to cryptocurrency or utility token. So I'm gonna click that and then uh, it wants to know what type of utility token I want to send to. And in this case, I'm going to choose basic attention token. Now you could send to any of these others and the Uphold wallet will automatically convert for you. But I've got BAT and I want to keep it BAT. So I'm just going to click down here. And so it's going to send to a BAT address. So I'll click in this box here and I'll just paste in that address. There's that Ethereum address. All right, and I'm just gonna click over here and it's ready for me to fill in the amount. As you can see, I can put in as much as I want. I'm just gonna click it off. I'm gonna send the entire amount to my wallet. So here I'll click confirm. All right, and then I need to put in my two-factor authentication and then I'll click confirm. And then it sends out that value to my wallet. And then we can go back over to the wallet here and just wait for those BAT tokens to arrive. All right, and there we go. Now you'll notice that what happened here when those BAT token arrived, that uh, all of a sudden the Ethereum wallet appears to have a zero balance, right? So all we need to do is scroll down a little bit and we can see that we've got our BAT tokens here. They're part of my Ethereum address. They're basically like letters inside my Ethereum mailbox. All right. And I just got a check in the mail. All right. So I can click on the bat down here and it shows me how much bat I have and how much it's worth right now. $73.33. You can't beat that. Right. And then you've got the transaction history down here. So there you go. Now I've taken those rewards and stored them safely in a cryptocurrency wallet where I control the private key. I fully own these BAT tokens now. Now you could put this BAT in any Ethereum based wallet. I like the Ledger Nano X, but you can use Trezor, uh, Keep Key. You can use the Atomic wallet. There's lots of other types of cryptocurrency wallets where you control the private key, where you can store your BAT tokens. So I encourage you to check that kind of stuff out. If you guys have any questions about anything that I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I have a live stream every Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for my live Q&A live from Michigan where uh, you can throw out any questions that you may have and I'll do my best to get them answered right there on the fly. I hope to see you there. It's a lot of fun. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.